Hey guys, what is up? It is Bricks on the H today, and in this video, I will be reviewing my VRL P42DC. But before we start, I will um, have an image up on screen pretty soon of what a real one looks like, just so you can uh, kind of see the resemblance. Starting off at the front here, we have um, probably my least favorite part of the build. It's very hard to get um, the front in LEGO as you could have saw by that picture that I showed there. Um, there's just too many angles. There's supposed to be another angle coming out that way. Uh, supposed to go all the way up and just kind of smooth up to the body. There's supposed to be more angles up here. Um, here I did try to get um, an angle using some wedge plates and I think I accomplished that one pretty well but otherwise it's it's not too bad. I'll change it in the future probably. These are also on an angle using um, neck brackets for minifigures. I uh, just put them on a stud and rotated them a bit. It's a good angle for that. I like that. Uh, there is the yellow stripe down there also using wedge plates. goes all the way around. This is a seven wide build but I did manage to put it on a train base just using brackets and tiles to kind of thump it out a little. But as for the headlights you got two down here, two up here and then one up there. Also the sticker 910 on there, which I forgot to take off, but that is the real locomotive I am basing this off of. It's also got the lights for when it's um, kind of at the back of a train. Then it's got the windshield with a kind of bad look at the inside. Speaking of the inside, you can easily access it. I say easily, but um, it's normally easy, just connected by these four studs. It takes the whole roof section off, or part of it. And then if I move you guys over there, you guys can see inside in that tiny cramped little space. Don't know how well that's gonna work. But um, he's got some control panels in there, a seat, and fire extinguisher and coffee mug in that um, corner. Sorry for the shakiness of that last clip, but um, I guess you can go down the sides. Do note that this I just have this on train track just so the trucks aren't spinning around, which I guess over here I'll just point out the trucks. Um, at the front there is no ladder, um, but at the back there is just put blue tiles there to make it look more realistic. And then back here, this one does have a ladder leading up to this door, which I'll cover later. But this is actually um, a power functions, train motor, no battery box inside. I'll have to figure out how to fit one. It is seven wide and five wide without these bricks. But I don't know if I'll be able to fit one in there because there is a lot of interior stuff. And I don't want to have to take it apart to show you guys, so just trust me. Now, continuing or starting on sides, we do have these mirrors that are just using jumper plates and stick out just a tiny little bit, well half a stud at least. Um, you got the windows up here a bit higher than I would like, but with that brick right there, it's the best I could do. Um, the stripes are all going up, like in the real locomotive, there's a little grill right there, and then this door, which I wish I could have done something better for, but because I had the stripes going through it, I couldn't make it like the other door, which I like a lot better, but oh well, it is what it is. Um, the sides also curve up um, towards the roof. Exposed studs here, but that's okay. Um, and then the tiles that I mentioned that were connected to the brackets come down here, like on the real locomotive, and then you've got the space where it should say Canada, but I'm not a sticker genius, so I can't. Also these vents up here, and then the VIA logo here, which is built using um, plates, cheese slopes, clips, and bars. Bars are on the inside, but as you can see, it does say via. That's supposed to look like a little maple leaf, but um, it's really just a red square. I did my best though. And then um, continuing along to the back, we do have some more venting, and then the door at the end. The back is pretty boring, but um, as you can see, I did use a bunch of one by three bricks here on both sides, and then one by ones in the middle to kind of simulate a door where the window is, and then. There is just a couple lights up at the top. The other side is almost identical, just mirrored, uh, along with the VIA logo, it's just mirrored. And then um, the only thing that is different is that there's no vent here, kind of like on the real locomotive. As for the roof, you have this gigantic fan here, and I really like how it's rounded out using those 2x4 slopes and 1x2 uh, slopes and 2x2 two two slopes, uh, or curved slopes, and then there's just a tile down the middle. So this whole top section is five studs wide. Also, three studs wide here, we have another vent. 
and then we have the horn or the second horn which is kind of sunken down a little really like how that looks and I guess I could put an IR receiver in there if I could figure out a way to motorize this without using power functions 2.0 and then we got the other horn so yeah I've been meaning to do this video for a while but I haven't really gotten to, around to it and then I made one and I didn't like how it turned out so I'm remaking it now um, I really hope you guys like this mock um, I sure do just again that little front that I want to change out here but I can do that whenever I want because it's really easy to pop it off just connected by um, four studs but if I can put that back on without breaking the whole thing I will just say thank you guys so much for watching this video um, I also hope you guys like this new kind of style of video making more cuts and less blabbering and talking uh, even though I am blabbering and talking right now but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video bye